Well, Felicia, I was so surprised that your father showed up here. Because, because he found out that Nick, Nick knew what had transpired with Brooke, and he was afraid he was going to hurt me, and I, I mean, he was so sweet. Honey, you think it might be too late? Oh, hold on, sweetheart. Uh, who is it? Room service. Room service? Uh, Felicia, Felicia, let me call you back, okay? Rooms, I didn't order anything from room service. Oh, it's a gift. A gift? From your secret admirer. Well, you little dickens, you. Uh, sorry? Oh, no, no. <laughs> sorry. Come in, please. Bring it right over there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Waiter, wait a moment. Wait. Stephen. Oh, you can have a breast, a leg, a thigh. Take your pick, Stephanie. It's all laid out just Look, the way you, you like it. A silver you know platter. What no, happened. no, no, don't you try and get out of this, lady. The mountains of abuse that you've heaped on us Logans, especially Brooke. For you to do what you did, are you that full of hate? Are I you that... accept my responsibility in what happened, but don't you think that Don't this you is... say anything! I don't want to hear your excuses. My daughter said she's a survivor. But every day for her, Stephanie, is like she's a bird in a cage. Because of you. Because of you. Well, you are going to be reckoned with, and I'm going to see to it. You've tortured my family for years, and it's going to end right now. Quite a ways down, isn't it? I'd call that justice. I think your day of reckoning is here, Stephanie. Stephen, go ahead and push me if you may. day of reckoning is finally here. You know what, Stephen? Why don't you just go ahead and push me if you're mad enough? One little shove, and you'd be history, and people would line up to thank me. Probably, but you haven't got the guts to do it. it. Look, you're... You've just found out that your daughter was raped. I can see the pain in your eyes, and I'm sorry it happened. I know I bear some responsibility. Some? I have apologized and apologized. I had no idea what that man would do. I am so sorry. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Stephen, look, all I'm trying to all do... All your excuses and your so-called regrets don't mean a damn thing to me, Stephanie. The damage is already done. I could wring your neck right now and I wouldn't feel a thing. I'm sure. I know you're angry. But what good does it do to take the anger out on me? I'm just trying Stop to get you to understand... Don't you dare try and tell me that you care for Brooke or any of us Logans. Year after year, she suffered because of you. You, you even tried to take her children. Now, I may not live in L.A. anymore, but I think about my girls all the time. I, I want them to be healthy and happy. And then I remember you're here and you're out to destroy them. I was wrong in my judgment, Stephen. I admit that. But if we're going to stand here and talk about wrongdoing, let's face the damage that Brooke has done to me, to my family, to the men in my family over the years. And no matter what has happened to her, as terrible as it is, it will never erase that. Never. The men in your life turned to Brooke for love because they never felt it from you. You've always been threatened by that, Stephanie, and you still are. You know what the truth is, Stephen? You were a lousy father. And as a result, Brooke has had real issues with every single man in her life. You abandoned Brooke just like you abandoned Beth and the other children. Beth and I were in love before you got mixed up in our lives. We were high school sweethearts. She, she wore this class ring of mine for years. And our troubles began with you and Eric. 
If it hadn't been for you two, we still would have been happy. You walked out on your family. Any mistakes I've made, I've acknowledged. Yeah, well, too little too late, Stephen. And now you come barging in here like the big protector, trying to raise your, your self-respect in their eyes? Ha, <laughs> good luck on that. I see what you're doing, and it's not going to work. You're not going to make this about me. Stephen! I sent the wrong man to Seabrook. Should I have checked him out? Yes, I should have. But that's one, one little mistake compared to a whole lifetime of failures with your children on your part. If I failed my kids, it's only because of you. Oh, of course, because of me. Oh, sure, right. <laughs> and every other Manny, Mo, and Jack, right? Come on, take some responsibility. You abandoned your family because in your own mind you couldn't be compared to Eric. You never thought you'd make enough success, enough money. So you tucked your tail and you ran. You abandoned, you left your children. Your girls have always, always gone after older father figures because you were never there. I mean, isn't that what's going on really here with Donna and Eric? Donna and Eric? You didn't know? Oh, yeah. Well, after Thorne wised up to her, she set her sights upon my husband. She's sleeping with Eric. Doesn't take too long, does it, for your girls to get right at it? I don't believe you. It's true. Donna never said a word of any... Well, of just ask her, Steve, and she'll tell you. She certainly hasn't been shy about spreading the word. Now, stop changing the subject. You are not going to get away with what you did to Brooke. And this was just a warning. Make a big mess of my room, just like you've made a big mess of your whole life. It's your life I'd be worried about if I were you. And Eric's, if I find out he seduced my daughter. Another empty threat? You think so? Yes. Because I know you, Stephen. Well, you keep thinking that, Stephanie. You keep thinking you're safe, that you don't have to look over your shoulder all the time, because someday, and mark my words when you least expect it, you'll pay for what you've done to my family. It's the bellman, Miss Forster. Yes, what is it? Ma'am, I was out here before, and I couldn't help overhearing. Was that man giving you trouble? Should I alert uh, hotel security? Oh, no, 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 that's not necessary. But thank you so much. No, that was just a lot of huffing and puffing. Thank you, thank you, though. I appreciate your concern. Stephen is not the person I have to be concerned with. Busy. We said we're busy. Go with my daughter. Don't you touch her. 